It's been more than two months since Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams made their highly anticipated return from space. You know, the one everybody was talking about, the one you watched unfold live right here on NBC News Now. June of last year, remember, when Butch and Sonny became the first people to strap into Boeing's Starliner capsule and go into space. Watch. Three, two, one, ignition. And liftoff. Every seemed to, everything seemed to be going fine, according to plan, until the next day, when it came time to dock at the International Space Station. That's when thrusters started to fail, helium started leaking. The issues causing delay after delay for the astronauts' return home. Butch and Sonny suddenly became household names, with everybody asking, what's up? Are they, are they up? Why can't they come back any sooner from being up there? NASA said the astronauts were safe. They simply adjusted plans for Butch and Sonny to swap places with another crew that would be making their way to the ISS for a different mission, meaning what was supposed to be about a week-long stint in space turned into just about nine months. It wasn't until March 18th that Butch and Sonny, along with two other crew members, made it back here to Earth, and since then, they have been doing a ground transition of their own, debriefing, doing some testing, et cetera. We are fortunate to have Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams with us now. Thank you both so much for being on the show. It is great to see you. And it is, I have to say, it's hard to believe it's been like two months since the capsule moment when we watched you like live get pulled out. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Sonny, let me start with you. Uh, feeling great, actually. You know, uh, there's a little transition period coming back, but uh, now at the two-month mark, I'm actually waking up early and getting ready to go to work out early in the morning. So uh, feeling feeling really good and uh, just finishing up our debrief, so it might be time for a little vacation as well. I would love that for you. Butch, what has the last couple of months been like for you as you've been in your kind of transition period here? You know, it's been busy. I mean, the the workout, the rehabilitation process that we uh, go through every time you're the long duration, uh, that's a big part of it, of course. But th there's been a little bit more uh, uh, focus on some of the post-flight stuff and, mm -hmm. and what we did on orbit. So we've had a little bit more uh, opportunities to share the experience than, I guess, in the past. Yep. Was there anything that surprised you, Butch, from some of those findings you're referencing from the work that you did up there? No, I don't know that there's anything surprising, but there's a lot, you know, it's a debrief process. We were on station. We did some debriefing there, but we've taken the opportunity to share with some of, you know, both Boeing and NASA and share some of our thoughts on some of the some of the details of what transpired. And that's all been positive and been very good. That's great. Sonny, you know, when you talk about the, the last couple of months here, was there anything, um, any aspect of recovery that felt harder than you expected in this process? You know, it's interesting. I think your body actually remembers from times that you've been in space before. So I would actually say almost the opposite. It's though it was longer than any flight that I've have either one of us have flown before. I think my body remembered. And, you know, of course, it was a little bit of a jolt when you first get back. But it was like recovery was step by step by step. And I think it, I actually think it went pretty quick. And I've been able to do a lot of things like all the way back to normal at this point in time. So, yeah, I think it actually went quicker than than it has been in the past. I wonder if both of you can reflect on your time at home and your time away, because obviously everybody knows you did not anticipate being gone for as long as you were. And I know I've heard you both say it before. You always prepare for those kinds of scenarios, even though that wasn't what you expected initially. But, you know, I, I do think about how long you were away from your families and life here on Earth and what that was like. You know, but you missed most of your daughter's senior year of high school. Can you talk to me about the last, you know, eight, nine weeks here? What has that been like for you? Do you feel like it was lost time to you? Uh, lost time. NASA does a great job keeping us connected with our families, both with mm. video and audio and uplinking videos, volleyball games, those type of things. So that that's a big plus, a big positive. Uh, obviously, the last two months has been special. It's been wonderful. I was actually make, able to make my daughter's high school graduation, which was which was Aww. fantastic. And uh, reconnecting, obviously, is, is especially when it's unexpected, some of the details of what transpired, well, it made it even all the more special as well. And we're continuing to experience that as we go forward. So it's been great. You know, we love to cover space uh, and space ventures here on the show. And so one of the things that we talked about just this week, of course, last night was Elon Musk's SpaceX launch with its ninth test flight of Starship. Obviously an important test after the last couple failed. Started smooth, as you know, everything broke apart. The Starship did during reentry. I wonder if we can reflect broadly about where we are with commercial space travel. And Sunny, I'll start with you. Do you think it's still risky? Yeah, you are know, there it... concerns you have with the privatized space race? 
You know, it, it space travel is risky. It's hard, you know, and it's it, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, millions of moving parts on every rocket, on every spacecraft, and they all have to work well. And uh, that means a lot of tests. You know, one of the good things that SpaceX does is a lot of tests to try to work out all the kinks before they attempt to put somebody on board. So that's a, that's a good thing. But commercialism of space is hard. Um, it costs a lot of money, and people have to be invested in it. And look at the further on goals and what those what that uh, exploration will bring back to the world and humanity, as well as what it does as we reach farther past low Earth orbit. So there's a lot of benefit to it, but everybody has to understand that, you know, you've got to dig deep to, to take those next steps in exploration. You know, Butch, I wonder what you think about that, Sunny. You know, the, the phrase space travel is risky. It is right. I mean, that is that is table stakes when it comes to this kind of travel. Yeah, it is risky and very, as she also said, it's hard and it is very hard. Uh, I think there's a lot of times, most of the times we make it look very easy. But one thing you got to commend SpaceX and, and, and Mr. Musk and the whole you know team that he's put together is they're using the atmosphere to do their tests. And that's great. You can use computational field dynamics. You can do wind tunnels and they're doing some of that. But to actually to launch something into the atmosphere, mm -hmm. uh, that's where you're going to get the real data. And I think mm -hmm. I saw a post from him that talked about we're going to get some great data. Well, yeah, if you're testing in the atmosphere with your rockets and all the different aspects and avionics and everything else, that's that's the best test bed that you can have. And, and that's a great way to go about it. Butch and Sunny. Sunny, you mentioned vacation coming up. Where's it going to be? Where are you going? I'm going up north. It's getting a little bit hot down here in Houston, Texas. So, uh, you know, I'm a New Englander, so I'm, I'm heading back north. And my niece is graduating this weekend. So uh, looking forward to that. Butch, how about you? Uh, we're going a little bit further south. My daughter chose uh, St. Lucia as her vacation spot oh. post to graduation. We go as a family. So it'll be a week there. And I've never been there. So it's, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I love that. Last question for both of you. Just a lightning round real quick. When is your next trip to space? Is it planned? What's what's next? Butch? As soon as somebody says I have to, I should go. Okay. <laughs> First one Butch, tomorrow, you? you bet. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.